Pistons basketball coach Kim Mulkey. Mulkey is known for wearing some eye-catching outfits on the sidelines, but this one caught the eye of radio host Austin Huff from Melissa and Austin in the mornings on US 99 right here in Chicago. Over the weekend, I was scrolling through Twitter while watching some college basketball and uh, came across a photo of LSU's head coach wearing a ridiculous jacket. I just tweeted the following because I thought it was funny. This tweet gets 5,000 likes. I will find this jacket, buy it, and wear it to a Cubs game. Simple enough. And, well, this was the jacket. Like, she raided Ric Flair's closet. Woo! When asked who she was wearing, I'm surprised she didn't say Jim Henson. And I truly meant it because we've seen these kind of tweets online all the time and they're kind of played out. I think people would actually follow through with it. Just figured it'd be a funny visual to see me at a Cubs game wearing this jacket. Well, apparently I was wrong because before bed, this thing ended up racking up 1,400 likes. By the time I woke up the next morning, we were at 4,000 likes. And within an hour of waking up on Saturday morning, we had 5,000 likes. And thus the search began for me to find this jacket. But I do have an update. Well, Austin tracked down the jacket from its designer, but it cost $4,000. <laughs> so Austin from US 99 is now going to give us an update on all this. Austin, how you doing? I'm doing well. How are y'all? Doing great. So, uh, yeah, this this coach's jackets are, I guess, legendary. I'm just learning about it now since the team is in the Final Four now. But uh, so what is the status? Are you going to be able to get that jacket? Yeah, last I've heard, I, I found the designer. We've had a conversation online, and she is uh, – she loves the idea. Apparently, she had been sent my tweet a couple of times uh, before I had ever even reached out. And I said, you know, hey, is this even a possibility? And she's like, well, it's a $4,000 jacket. But you know what? I, I think I can uh, send it to you for like the actual jacket. So she's uh, she's going to send it. And I just got to find a Cubs game to go to. Wait, now. so you're going to get the actual jacket? Do you have to buy it? That's what that's what I've been told. And from no, no, I do not have to buy oh. it. So she's just gonna she's gonna let me wear it. And she said she said she wants me to do something epic like a keg stand in it. I don't know if I'm gonna go <laughs> that crazy. But uh, I, I I do think the visual of me just wearing that ridiculous like straight out of Fraggle Rock jacket to a Cubs game is just funny in, in and of itself. So were you familiar with some of her looks prior to seeing this jacket? Because every game she shows up with something that is really fantastic. Yeah, I'm a massive sports fan. Yeah. I run a sports vlog on the side, and and that is, it is, it, like, you're always, like, you, she always makes waves with the things that she wears. And I think this jacket, just the, the flamingo trim, like, like, her, like the designer of the jacket was the Lorax or something. I That, to me, is what set this one apart. And I was like, it's just so, it's so unbelievable that she's on the sideline coaching a basketball game in this. I, I mean, more credit to her. Props to it. She owns it. So it's first this, rule of fashion. This designer that you talked to, does she design all of her coats or just this one? That I do not know. And I'm hoping to learn more uh, <laughs> through this process. And I, But I do know that it was that jacket. And I believe one of her assistant coaches' outfits, I think she also designed for uh, this past weekend's game. Because I'm wondering, is, is anyone else buying her stuff? <laughs> because it seems maybe she just does completely over-the-top stuff for, yeah. you know, for effect. Yeah, it'll be interesting to see. Yeah, it's, what's funny is, like, you know, I, this this tweet blew up over the weekend, and I had people reaching out to me. It's like, well, you know, you, you could just buy, like, a similar jacket and go to Hobby wow. Lobby and kind of make your own with the, you know, the ostrich feather trim on the sides, and which that I was looking into that yeah. as a possibility yeah. until I actually found the jacket, so... So you've got the jacket, you track down the designer, you have the jacket on its way. Now you need tickets, right? Is that the, that's the third step in this whole process? <laughs> yeah, yeah. I mean, I, I don't want to, I'm not going to be that guy that's like, oh, hey, can you guys help me yeah. get tickets? I mean, I can get Cubs tickets. But yeah, I mean, if anyone wants to hook me up with like seats that are in TV view, oh, I think that would go. be even funnier. Yeah, but would. look, I, I'll, I'll sit in the, the bleachers or in the left field under the, behind a column if I need to uh, at Wrigley, so. I've sat behind a column before. It's not so much fun in that <laughs> like, yes, Yeah, I yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah your exactly. arms. <laughs> All right, thanks, Austin. Kim Mulkey's uh, LSU team plays in the Final Four on Friday night against Virginia Tech, and we'll check back in with Austin to see if uh, this all works out for him. And he's on at US 99. Good to, good to talk to you, Austin. Thanks, Austin. Lauren, Robin, we have you guys on in the studio every morning. Thank you so oh, much.